The first pair to be evicted from the Big Brother Titan's house is Sanvio. Wow! Not Sandra! 20 seconds to say your goodbyes. No! Not Sandra! I am so pissed. I am so pissed. Oh my god, my head is hot. My head is hot. I am so pissed. Not Sandra, guys. Not Sandra. I mean, for Theo, I can totally, totally understand, but definitely not Sandra. Oh my god. I haven't really gotten enough of all the pepper that she's been sprinkling in that house. I haven't gotten enough of all of her drama. <sighs> Calm down, Glory. Calm down. Okay, guys. <laughs> I, I don't know, but I am not just myself at all. I'm not just myself. I mean, I guess by now you already know, Sandra and Theo have been evicted, making them automatically the first pair to be evicted from the um, Titans mansion. Guys, I am not happy. I'm sad about it. I'm pissed about it. I did not see it coming. Yes, although it was sort of inevitable that Theo was going to remain in that house whilst the others are, are, are evicted, you know. But yeah. Anyways, you welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Gloria Elijah. This is Frankly Speaking with Gloria, and I am the girl with the T. First question of this video, how do you feel? Guys, do you feel like you somebody just tore your parts into shreds? Because that's how I feel right now. How do you feel about San Theo's eviction? Sanja specifically not being in the house anymore, especially with all of that drama that unfolded between Melly and Nelisa. Ladies and gentlemen, I feel like we're going to be missing a lot of action this week especially from that corner yes i mean i was really looking forward to seeing sanja's pay back to melly and nelisa but then sadly we're not going to be seeing any of that anymore but then there's the question of if melly and nelisa will continue with their little love affair that they have started officially last night because they sure did, did a lot of shagging last night yes they couldn't get enough of each other anyways if you are a new um subscriber here or a returning subscriber or a returning viewer thank you so much for tuning in but if you are not a part of that category please do not hesitate to do exactly what you see on your screen now quickly let's proceed into the rest of tonight's live eviction show please. tonight's live eviction shows questions started officially with the heads of house so as usual yeah Ibuka would congratulate them on emerging the first had heads of house of the season yes so that was over and done with but then Abel Carr decided to enter black boy is that you and your fellow head of house were not in control or was all the drama intentionally orchestrated we asked black boy that okay what about all the drama that unfolded this entire week could it be interpreted to mean that he and his um assistant did not have control over the house or was it an intentional orchestration of drama guys <laughs> i love the way the housemates were looking all guilty at that point in time because some of them knew that they were actually acting out the whole drama but hey i'm not complaining <laughs> who am i in the grand scheme of things i thoroughly enjoyed myself and i am looking for more drama you know but i loved his response to that he said well it's not like that is the case but at least they were entertained. I said, amen, my brother. You people should bring it more this week. Anyways, moving on to Ikpeleng, Ibuka decided to put Ikpeleng on the hot seat. Mm -hmm. Remember, Ikpeleng has been playing the victim this week. Aside the fact that she has been doing mommy and daddy things with Luke at night in the garden, yes, like, you know, bush people, like their bed is not enough. Anyways, <laughs> Ibuka decided to ask her about the statement she made about, oh, ever since she was picked um, to spend time in the head of house lounge, most of the girls have been beefing her. And then Ibuka dared her, like direct question, who are these people? And Ipeleng could not talk. She chickened out. And I'm like, Ipeleng, why is it that your mouth is always when, the, when you're with Luke? But, oh yeah, talk now. You cannot talk. Nobody. I'm not doing that now. So did you lie or? No, I didn't lie. I'm just very, I'm choosing not to say anything. Right? Why is that? I'm playing it safe. I'm playing safe. And I'm also getting to know every single person and actually understanding everyone. She said she's playing safe. And you know, this is another week. I'm trying to get to know everybody else. I said, Ipeleng. You've been trying to get to know people since day one. And this is day 14 plus an extra night. 
the likes of a lunch show and you still are trying to get to know people anyways point is she refused to mention the names of the people because she has seen them that these girls are not normal mm. even the ones that are acting calm they're gonna rip her off in that house they're gonna tear her apart and remember she's already a target because of the way she put up olivia for nomination the way she swapped olivia yes so ladies and gentlemen Ikweleng is on the hot seat at the moment now moving on now the next question was thrown to nelisa ibuka reminded nelisa of being tagged and labeled the instigator of the house and then he was asking nelisa if the likes of meli um to bang and sandra were parts of her instigator's plan now nelisa said no Mm -hmm. that she only speaks what she sees and guys i'm gonna be frank with you i was kind of disappointed Ibuka did not ask nelisa about the statement she made and um, last night about blue um ava remember guys after the saturday night party she had made statements about blue ava claiming that blue ava is a liar that she has been in the entertainment industry in south africa between six to seven years and all the people that Blue Ava claims to know is a lie. That Blue Ava claims to be a DJ, it's a lie. Blue Ava claims, claims to know these celebrities, it's a lie. That she knows these celebrities, she rolls with them, and she has never seen Blue Ava knowing them. And ladies and gentlemen, if you go ahead to Blue Ava's Instagram account, you will see that she definitely does know these people. She's definitely a certified DJ in South Africa. So I was kind of disappointed that Ibuka did not ask that question because, hey, Madame Instigator needs to collect as well in that house. She's been running the mouth a lot this week i just say what i see and if that's instigation i'm so sorry <laughs> but anyways Ibuka did not ask her about that and so she said that she was sorry if it seemed as though most of the statements she was making came across as inciting violence in the house i'm just paraphrasing what she said anyways moving on cj was asked about how he felt when ipeleng had swapped and replaced him you know used the veto power to um take down the royal the royals or royalties and then swapped them with he and Olivia and he said he was actually hurt yeah and guys I could really understand where Juicy J was coming from because remember um Juicy J had actually made his, his intentions known to Ipe Leng and just like Yemi Craigs right investing in the emotional banks of the ladies getting them on your side so that you'll be free from nominations right that did not particularly work in his favor and I think it did not really work because of course he was paired with one of um, Ipe Leng's nemesis in that house that's Olivia so there was no choice for Ipe Leng but he said that Ipe Leng explains to him a situation and apologized to him and now they are good and then the next conversation we saw on the show of course first the eviction of Santhia, which was really really heartbreaking guys i still haven't recovered from it if anybody can get me sandra on this channel that would be amazing i would love to have a conversation with sandra and fear so if anybody can make that happen please make it happen i mean i love those people so much and they have a lot that we they need to share with the, with the public i'm hoping that that happens sooner or later but anyways they did their first sharing with lawrence on the stage um Theo went first and guys it was such an emotional conversation even though it was brief I mean, this guy was close to tears because it was obvious that the housemates were not giving him a chance because of the outburst he had had on Monday, or was it Monday? Yeah, on Monday with um, Juicy J and um, Jenny O and um, somehow slightly with JP. You know, they had all labeled him as a troublemaker in the house. So guys, it was really sad the way they were treating him. You know, I put out a tweet this afternoon on my Twitter account about how it's really heartbreaking to see when Theo wants to interact with the other housemates, but they give him the cold shoulder. He affirmed the same thing tonight with um, Lawrence, but I'm just wishing him all the best and I'm hoping that his rapper's dreams come alive with this, um, you know, publicity that he has had now via the Big Brother Titans platform. And then moving on to Sandra, Lord have mercy. Sandra is a bundle of energy. I was quite surprised and impressed at the way she was handling the eviction, guys. She was not looking gloomy or anything, but um, she was just looking relaxed. And I know that she was actually going through a lot. But then yes but it was a fun conversation with lawrence and yes she agrees that she was actually pressing next she was setting people on their toes you know she had her game on lockdown and we all know clearly that it's because of the pairing that she's leaving the house on time if not for the pairing she's definitely going to be in the game we went ahead to explain the reason for the altercation she had with olivia i mean um, the reasons she gave is the same thing that we already heard in the house she said olivia was talking about oh highlight and she decided to give olivia the highlight olivia was 
demanding for it sort of yes but anyways guys i wish sandra and theo all the very best but then i also love the advice that um Abuka and lawrence gave to the housemates that listen the game is on you need to step out of your comfort zone and that's all for this particular episode guys go ahead and let me know your thoughts about tonight's live eviction show in the comment section below and i'll see you guys soon have an amazing evening bye